Hey everybody, it's Kenjin Kurugi, aka Christian of the Bloodless, and today I'll be doing another vlog, but this time it will be about gamer controversy and impact on the gamer community that I want to do. Uh, first, I'm going to start off with the gamer controversy. I've noticed that a lot of people have been bashing on each other because of certain games that they play or why they're playing it. Honestly, I don't think that should matter because at the end of the day, it only depends on what you feel about the game. If it's your favorite game, you should play it. If you enjoy the game, you should play it. Why should anyone, you know, contradict you and tell you what you should and should not play it? I mean, you went ahead, you bought it with your own money. You either paid, you either paid for it, someone gave it to you, you wanted to play the game, you finally got to play it and you got it and then they just bash on you for no reason. I don't see the point in that. We're all gamers, we're all trying to have fun. What you should be doing is, you know, lifting their spirits up, trying to keep supporting them and, you know, keep them playing the game because, you know, and who's to say that you might not even get into that game? Like, for example, um, sometimes, like, I have night classes at the college, so I'll go ahead and I'll bring my TV and I'll bring my PS3 and I'll sit there. And a lot of people at first, they'll be like, why are you playing on PS3? And, you know, the new consoles just, the, you know, the new consoles are out. Why don't you just get a PS4? Honestly, I don't feel the need to get a PS4 because there's not really that many games that I should that have to play on it. Well, I mean, there's not actually there's not a lot of games that I want to play on it because either there's not a lot of games that are on the that appeal to me or most of the games that are on the PS4, I already own them, but on the PS3 because they're just basically just remakes popped onto a newer console. So I don't really want to go ahead and spend a lot of money just to buy a game that I already have just for, you know, some tweak in graphics. I mean, probably a little bit in fixed bugs or whatnot for the gameplay, but other than that, there's really no reason for me to actually go out and buy a new console or a new gen. And a lot of people have been messaging me about how I feel about the issue, and it really bugs me that everyone tries to, you know, preach the whole uh, gamers united, but at the same time, you're basically attacking your neighbor with it because they got a uh, a lower gen console like right like i have right now a old school namco arcade game so i mean i know a lot of people that play old school games and there's nothing wrong with that or old gens but no one says anything about that but when it comes to recently new console consoles you shouldn't have to bash on it let people play it everyone has their own preference about how they feel or what they want to play I mean, for example, if I want to play Sly Cooper on the PS2 and I want to make a video about it, I'll play it on the PS2. I know there, I know there's a newer, a newer version on the PS, PS3, but the fact of the matter is, maybe I want to play the old school one before, because I want to have that nostalgic feeling instead of just playing the newer one where it's, you know, you still feel like, uh, they probably changed up a, a little bit, but at the same time, it's how you feel about the game. And which also goes to me stating that the impact on the gaming community that I want to do. What I mean by making the game, uh, impact on the gaming community is what I want to do with this channel is I want to be able to play all the games that I like and share how I feel about the game as well as talking to you guys, answering your questions about you know, pressing subjects just like this because it really, it really bothers me that people can people can be allowed to enjoy their games without people sitting there you know bashing them about their favorite games i mean nobody wants to hear that nobody wants to wants you to just you know rain on their parade when they're playing their favorite games and they're trying to express how they feel about a game and you come out of nowhere and become all negative about the subject because you don't like the game if you don't like something just stay away from it period don't bash on them because of the gameplay that they have or the game that they want if you don't like it stay away from it if you like it you know support them for it because at the end of the day you might you don't want the same thing when you go to make a game uh gameplay or do a video and you want to express how you feel about it. you want positive you want you know that positive reinforcement to come back to you because you want people to feel the same way they felt about it like you did so why would you go out and just throw someone under the bus about it you don't want to do that. You know, treat people how you want to be treated, not the other way around. Don't sit there and be a dick about it and then at the same time ask people to, hey, yo, support my game, my gameplays or support me playing my favorite games. Oh, guys, I want to, you know, show you why I play these games and stuff like that, too. I mean, I've had a lot of people say that they don't like the type of games I play, but when I go to play them, everyone's intrigued and they watch and like, oh, man, this guy is funny. Oh, this guy has got some pretty good, you know, moves for the games or he makes it look interesting. I've gotten a lot of people that switch from just playing Call of Duty all day to playing some of the uh, J, uh, J, uh, 
JRPG games that I play a lot of times, or you know, some of the, uh, or just some of the shooters that I play, or some, even some people got me into like sports games. I don't even play sports games like that, but I have fucking FIFA, and then I think it's just, I think I only got like FIFA right now, but it's, the fact is, it's just making that change. You're opening up people's minds towards different games and you're expanding it. But you got to do it the right way. You can't just force people to do it. It's a change that they have to, you know, transition into and not being forced to. Like, like I said, with the game, what I want with this channel, that's why I'm saying that I want to be able to make videos with my favorite games and get people to, you know, also in return, basically get them to feel like, oh, you know what? I want to do this too. I want to be able to flawlessly go ahead and just have that confidence to go in, make a video of games that... I like to play and I want them to feel the same way I felt and then to have that connection, you know, like I said, Sly Cooper, if I wanted to play it on PS2 versus PS3 or even Xbox or whatever console it decides to be released on, regardless, even though I know it's not going to go to Xbox, but still, it's just speaking in general that you want people to feel the same way you feel about a game. But you don't, but you bash on them. Don't do that. That's something that you shouldn't have to do or you no, know, that's something that you really don't need to do so i mean you should basically be positive about it and support people so hopefully when i'm when i go to go ahead and finally make the gameplays because right now my laptop is being a dick when it comes to recording it so i'm gonna go ahead and try to keep fixing that up i have the gameplay and stuff ready but you know trying to put myself in the camera and everything it's not working out but i'm going to go ahead and fix it because i want to also because i want to show people how i feel about the game and where i go with it so that way i can get you guys to enjoy uh get you guys to enjoy it, and hopefully y'all will start making videos as well as to how you feel about the game about um uh, basically basically just feeling confident about make about your own gameplay that you want to just express it you know that's really what this is really about that you feel the need that that everyone can feel the same way you felt about the game, regardless of the graphics. I mean, the graphics or anything. If you enjoy it, go ahead and do it. And I promote anybody that has that positive attitude that they want to go ahead and just expand, and they want people to feel how they felt. Because at the end of the, like I said, at the end of the day, it's really about how you feel, and that's what's going to connect to everybody else. But um, I think that's all I got to say about that. But um. I mean, I hope this video helped you, and uh, please don't bash on people because of a game that they don't like. So uh, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. So uh, peace out and be safe, everybody.